Hello and welcome to Name of Thrones, the new show in which two people with the same name battle it out in a variety of challenges to find out who is the most deserving of that name. Today is the Battle of the Maxes. <laughs> On my right, we have YouTube Hall of Famer, stand-up comedian, and a man who's slightly too comfortable interviewing drunk university students. It's Max Fosh. <laughs> Nice to see you, sir. Good to see you. How are you? Really well, Good, thanks. good, good. Okay. <laughs> We're going to introduce the other one. Okay. okay. <laughs> On the left, we have the face of UK TikTok, the voice of a generation, and our diversity hire because of his sexual preferences. It's Max Belegde. Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry. I got confused. Guys, how are we feeling? I'm so ready. Um, I'm galvanised, and um, I'm going to twat you. To be <laughs> wow. <laughs> God, it's feisty already. Um, so, do you believe you can You're win? You're not going to ask me how oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can definitely win. Well, great, Max, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. I've uh, just had a shawarma wrap, so... Nice, uh, yeah. A bit onion-y. The Max Put versus Max. Near me. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be the least intimidating face-off <laughs> ever recorded on camera. <laughs> Try and do some dirty talk. Dirty talk, Lovely. sorry. <laughs> what? What? No. Uh, Lovely pause. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Mm. My pause is better than yours. Rawr. <laughs> Actually, yours is better than mine. Well done. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, okay, okay, okay. That's yeah, enough. Yeah. That's enough. Well, let's get going to the first challenge. In our first challenge, we're finding out who's the funniest of the two Maxes. Each Max must tell three jokes, and the audience will decide who's the funniest. <laughs> we are now going to find out who's got the wittiest wit, the craziest crack, and the best banter. We've got a live studio audience here, and our two Maxes are going to tell three of their best jokes. Up first, we have Mr. Fosh. How you guys doing tonight? Are you doing all right? Yeah. yeah fantastic. Where are you from? Uh, Fantastic. So, I've uh, got a couple of jokes for you tonight. Have you, have you heard of a way to invite a deaf ant to a party? Oh, no. no. Should we come to a party? <laughs> oh. he, he's not, he's not, he's not RSVP just yet. So, I was watching um, a film the other day with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, The Rock. Do you know, do you know how he pees? He Dwayne's his Johnson. Oh. <laughs> I've heard that he, he might be in line to, uh, to, to be in the next Peter Pan. It's quite exciting. Uh, but do you know where the best uh, place that Peter Pan likes to eat out? Wendy's Pussy. Wend uh, Wendy's, yeah. Oh! Get fucked! It's always nice when... <laughs> when <he was> <laughs> Because of that, you're going to get a long one. Uh, there's, there's a story one day about a couple called Max and Arthur. Um, oh, and uh, Max and Arthur were, were happily in love, been married for a number of years, but, oh. but Max liked to go to the pub. Oh. Oh, right. And he liked to drink beers. Um, and <laughs> Arthur had enough. It's either me or the boozer. And Max said, I'm so sorry. I, of course, I love you so much, Arthur. Um, what, what do you want me to do? And I said, I don't want you to go to the pub for two weeks. So Max said, of course, I will not go to the pub. Two weeks later, Max hasn't been to the pub. And Arthur says, you know what, darling? Thank you so much. You've listened to me. You've really put this religion in first. Do you know what we should do? We should have a lovely evening together, in which we have a nice evening. I, I really want like a French-themed evening. Should we do that? And Max said, absolutely. What do you want me to do? So Arthur said, well, could you go down to the butcher's tomorrow morning and get some escargot? And as he just goes to step on the garden path, he trips. And all of the snails fly out of his hand and go up the garden path. And he's like, fuck. You suddenly see the lights come on inside. Arthur stomping down the stairs. He flings open the door. He goes, where the fuck have you been? And Max looks down at the snails scattered up the garden path and goes, come on, lads, nearly home. What the fuck? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs> You should do a stand-up tour. Yeah, I could. You just you cut that do. joke out. <laughs> wow, thank you, Max Porsche, for right. well well Max Belegde. Oh! Both did the same yeah. thing. So, um, I've written mine down. Oh, he has to read them off his phone. That's cute. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Sorry, can you not read? Dumb fuck. No, I can't. <laughs> I just have a memory. <laughs> what do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef? <laughs> <laughs> No, fun, fun. I love that so much. That is a great joke. Good joke. Humble comedian up there. Bro. 
What's the difference between acne and my local priest? You don't have your local priest all over your face. No, acne came on my face after I turned 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. That was, that, was, that, that was really good. I don't know why they're not laughing, but that was really good. Final one, make it a big one. Right, okay, okay, okay. Stick the landing. What's the difference between George Clark and Paul Breach? Don't know. Don't know, okay. Well, let me I'll tell you, I'll tell you. <laughs> One's a creepy looking who everyone wishes would get off the internet, and the other's Paul Breach. <laughs> Wait, one more, it's one more, It's an interesting more, tactic to <laughs> insult the audience that needs oh, to shit. laugh at your joke. Wait, does he vault? Don't worry, it wasn't going your way anyway. What? <laughs> wow, that's rude. Right, one last one, um, bonus round. What's the difference between I'm Alex and Paul Breach? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So that was special. A really good evening of stand up. Flew by, apart from the Fosh joke there. <laughs> but we're going to have to make a decision. I think it's a slightly obvious one. Votes yeah. for Max Belegde, please oh, raise yeah. your hand. <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't voting, so. <laughs> okay, and votes. For, oh, is that a question or a vote for Belegde? Um, it's a questionable vote for Belegde. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> No, you're not. I trusted I mean, you! Votes for Fosh. I mean, I'm going to vote for Fosh, but it was way closer than it should have been. Yeah, it was close. He's been on the stand up to me. That is true. <laughs> so the funniest We'd Max... We'd like a Eurovision entry. Yeah. The, fun <laughs> the funniest Max is Fosh! <laughs> yes, there you go. There's a long way to go, but Max takes an early lead. We now go to the next challenge, which is a challenge of intelligence. So Max Walsh will be getting an even bigger lead. No. No, <laughs> joking. Yeah. We now head to our correspondent in the field, Rufus Rice, to do some post-match interviews. Over to you, Rufus. Cheers, Arthur, and what a morning of sport we have seen so far. One round in, allegedly a comedy round. How did you feel after that ground beef joke went so well? I really thought that I was about to twat his mum in the tits, um, <laughs> but I didn't. I am heartbroken beyond words. Um, but I will be making a comeback in the second round. Yeah, I hope that round five, who's the most northern, will really swing your way. Next up, next up, we've got Max Fosh. I'm glad that my mother's boobs remain unscathed. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, I'm happy to take the win. Um, I have to say that my third joke was ruined when Max uh, gave the punchline, so I had to do my extra bonus joke, which didn't go down particularly well. I still didn't understand the Wendy's punchline to that joke. Um, where's Peter Pan's favourite place to eat out? Wendy's. I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next round, back to you in the studio. It's challenge number two, and in this one, we're finding out who's the smartest. I'm going to ask ten questions, whoever gets the most right is the clever clogs. We're now going to begin the battle of the Bryans, uh, brains, uh, Max's, Br brains, sorry. Oh, did someone say pop quiz? Finger your buzzers now, gentlemen. Um, so we're going to do 10 questions. If you know the answer, just buzz. Um, whoever gets the most questions right is the smartest Max. Are we ready? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> Question number one. How many eyes does a spider have? Eight. <gasps> Come get on. Oh my god. What was the first movie in the MCU? Iron Man. Um, oh, not Iron Man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hulk. 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 Iron Man. Hulk. It was Iron Man. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was Hulk. No, it wasn't. It was Iron Man. <laughs> oh, I got it right. Wait, no, hold on. No, we didn't. It was Iron Man. It was Iron Man. I said Iron Man. They went, no, 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 no. That is a lie. Oh my god. Uh, See, that desperate to win that you would just make up lies, defamatory lies. Okay, so we get a 2-0 two, two to Max. Okay. Yes. Fuck off. Sorry. Okay, I'll tell you what. No, I do agree. We'll do another question. Oh, what, can, can we do? Are we doing buzzer answer, or you then say who who got buzzer? Okay, first? okay, okay. You guys, your job <laughs> is to see who buzzes first. Who won the X Factor in 2011? Fosh. No, you can't do that because you don't no, know the answer. See, so he's thinking Spence. of the answer. Sam Bailey. No, <laughs> I know it. Little Mix. Yes. Suck my dick. <laughs> so you don't need private school to be clever people, don't fall. Let's do it for the north! Because obviously he, he didn't learn grace and decorum at school either. <laughs> what designer famously makes red soled shoes? Fosh. He did oh, Well yes. done. Okay, question number I can't four. wait for all the cricket and posh <laughs> questions coming <down. laughs> Cricket and posh. How many teeth does the adult human have? Fosh again. 32. Correct! Is it? Yeah. Put the following Kardashian slash Jenners in order of age, oldest to youngest. Rob, Kylie, Kim, Chris, Chloe, Kendall, Courtney. Right, Ooh. let me do it, let me do it. Well, I don't know who got that first. I got it first. 
I'll let him do it. He's this, not the this, this is his thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah this guy. <laughs> Chris, oldest. Courtney, Kim, Chloe, Rob, Kendall, Kylie. Correct. <laughs> but also oh. not really correct because you did get it wrong twice before. No, no, no. I just said. I, 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 I said that's impressive, but don't give him a point. That's what I'm saying. What you can get fucked? How about that? <laughs> How about you can speak when we get to that shit sign over there? <laughs> <laughs> right, this one, okay, I'll do an impression as well for this one. How many times has Andy Murray won one of them playing singles? Has he won twice? That is correct. That's just good quiz. Which country is Brie Cheese originally from? <laughs> that was for like that. Yeah. Brie. <laughs> <laughs> Is that is a that trick question? I just thought usually they end up in places. <laughs> and he said which country? Yeah. I guess it goes over to you then. Oh, uh, you guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think the answer is France. That is correct. Wow, this is gearing up to be a tough finish here. Oh my god. Well, question nine and we're at four all. I, I cannot believe you buzzed in so early and went for bridge. I don't know. <laughs> oh, question number nine. To take the lead. Oh my god. What is the capital of Iceland? <laughs> but day again. <laughs> really? It wasn't. We'll let Max answer first then. No, 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 please, after you. No, I insist. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> See, I'm too busy fixing my table now, I insist you answer first. Okay, Reykjavik. Correct, mm. it is Reykjavik. How are you going to go for? I, I was, honestly, I don't know. Wow, please, that's why I wanted to know what you're oh, going to go for. Wow. Right. This is great, great entertainment. Oh so, oh final question, Max, you can, obviously if you get this one, I'll have to go to a tiebreaker. Oh my god. Okay, question number 10. <laughs> what is the largest country in the world? That was, that was Fosh. If you get this right, he's the most intelligent. Uh, the Russian Federation. Oh, yes. Russia. Oh, Kang was right! <laughs> because of a few iffy measures. <laughs> a few iffy measures. I'm from Reykjavik now. We're going to go to a tiebreaker. Thank you. I haven't got an extra question. My gosh. I'm just going to sort of Google one, I guess. Oh, I've got one. Okay. I've got one okay. because of you. I've thought of this. Okay. What's his what name? What does <laughs> Club Sandwich stand for? Bro, don't count this smile, so I almost had bacon, lettuce, tomato. <laughs> cheese, lettuce. Yep. Is a U and a B. So you got it wrong. There's no oh, cheese. Oh, fuck. Right, okay. Fosh. Chicken, lettuce, under bacon. He's done it! Oh! There wow. we have it. Max Fosh is the U the stands for fucking under. <laughs> <laughs> what dumb fuck talk, thought of that? It's a northerner. Yeah. <laughs> What was under? <laughs> Goes go go under go bacon. That's how Club Sam's over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well there we have it. Max Fosh is the most intelligent Max. We now head to our correspondent. Wow. It's spent a lot of money on those tables. Sorry, yeah. We now head back to our correspondent in the field, Rufus Rice for some post-match interviews. And wow, what a round that was. Uh, Joey Essex versus Gemma Collins there in the quiz. A real battle of the wits, but Max Fosh, as expected, does come out on top. But Leg Day, how do you feel after that one? What does as expected mean? I'd like to get to the bottom of that. But he's smarter than you. Fair enough. Okay, <laughs> understood. So you're not too upset about the loss? I'm absolutely mortified. I'd kick the shit out of my child if I had one now. Thanks for answering the question. Have you're welcome. Good, have a good. Tough round. Looks yeah. like he had you in the early stages, but then uh, the private education came through. Yeah, it really did. That's what mummy and daddy paid £30,000 a year for, um, for me to win in that quiz. Uh, but no, it was good, it was good. It was exciting. Uh, I'm so happy to be here. Two points up, <laughs> and the rest of the game. Thank you very much. So round number three, it's karaoke. Each Max will have a chance to sing their favourite song in front of the audience, and world-renowned singer Arthur Hill will decide the winner. Um, please go check out his music on Spotify and all streaming platforms. Okay, it's now time for the singing round. Who is going to be the best singer? I think this one might be close. We've got Max Fosh, the choir boy, and Max Belegde, the gay. <laughs> uh, first up, we've got Max Fosh, please. Thanks. How is your choir going? Are you still doing yeah, I'm still, I'm still nice. in the choir. Great. If we go every Tuesday. Oh. We were doing a lovely rendition of Imogen Heap's Hide and Seek. Didn't ask. Okay. <laughs> Uh, actually, I did. I did. You did. Sorry. <laughs> I did. Sorry. You, lit I you literally did ask. Did ask. Yeah. What's your karaoke song you'll be doing for us today? I'm going to be singing Holiday by Dizzy Rascal. Nice. Because nice. we are very smart. Take it away. Thank Max you. Fosh. Get your passport and your bikini. You need a holiday? Come see me. I know you're tired of the same old scenery, and I could change all that so easily. Because there's no distance that could stop my persistence. Just a few days of the year. Plus, not cloud, so let's ride out. We ain't gotta fly, we can just drive out. We can have a rave or we can hide out. I won't tell nobody, let's find out. Well done, well done.
That was much funnier than your third joke. <laughs> wow. I, I, yeah, I kind of poshified yeah. Holiday yeah. by Dizzy Rascal. Dizzy Rascal, most Tory thing yeah. I've ever seen. Wow, what a, what a performance from, from Max Foster. We now go to Max Belegde. <laughs> Are you much of a singer? Um, yeah. <laughs> Straight to the point. Yeah. Uh, what is your karaoke song of choice today? My karaoke song of choice today is Baby by Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Twenty twenty three. Thanks for Oh my god! A moment like this. Right. Well. Wow. Well, that was. Uh, I'm out of breath. I didn't even perform. We now head, of course, to Rufus Rice for some post-match interviews. Here we go. Max for leg day. What can I say? What can you say? I God, that was so gay. It was, <laughs> wasn't it? It was. It was. <laughs> Deeply and thoroughly homosexual. So I'm As soon as you got behind that sofa, I knew you were winning. It was game over. It really was, wasn't it? <laughs> so, so talented. Hope that you can carry this momentum into the next round. Thank you, me too. Max Fox. Yeah. First loss. Sure. I feel like San Marino just played Brazil. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's I love that. Eight, well, 12, 13 plus. Uh, uh, he was, he's the R9, the fat Ronaldo of the karaoke world, to be honest. I thought Tom you didn't do too badly Thanks. until your posh Dizzy Rascal cover was put to absolute shame. It was, yeah. I thought Dizzy Rascal needs to be poshified. Dizzy would love a signet ring. Shout out Diz. I bet you want a posh twat signet ring. Beautiful plug. <laughs> What's the next round? In the next challenge, we are finding out which Max is the strongest. <sighs> Each Max will do as many sit-ups, followed by as many press-ups as they can, and we will see which Max is the most wham. I seem to have got emo in the wind. This is now the strength round. Who is the strongest Max? We're going to be getting them to do push-ups, sit-ups, and the lastly, a, what's it called, arm wrestle. Who will reach Max power? We're about to find out. Are we ready, gentlemen? Yeah. Oui, oui. Get your knee off them. Oh. Okay, okay. right, okay. ready? Yeah. One. Oh, right. Okay, let's do it. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five, oh, six, oh, I don't like it. Seven, <laughs> eight, How many rounds are in this round? Nine, ten. Oh, I hate it. Eleven. Fuck this. Twelve. Oh, what the? Fourteen. Oh, fourteen. Fifteen, gentlemen. Oh, what the? Sixteen. Right, I think if I get to twenty. Seventeen. Just... Eighteen. <laughs> Nineteen. 20! Right, I'm gonna stop 21. here. I know, I've had enough. <laughs> okay, the winner of the first strength round was Max Fosh. We now go to sit ups. Who's gonna do more than 60 seconds? Fosh or the leg day? Are we ready? Okay. Three, two, one, sit up. Nice. Okay. All different forms going. All the way up. All the way up. Nice. There you go. You've got this. Keep going. Keep doing those sit ups. That's it, Fosh. Good form. Seven one there. Seventy. M. A. 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 Come on, oh, that's it. Oh, no, just a pretty bang. Orgasm. Every rap is like an orgasm. Don't touch. <laughs> okay. Uh, Come on. Oh my god. I won that. Good effort. I mean, Belay Day definitely won, but you put in a real valiant effort there. Oh no. For drama. Oh, the drama. <laughs> Belegde levels the scores in the strength challenge and we go down to the classic test Gender of button. the arm wrestle. Go it go Who's got the biggest forearms? Who does as many wanks? We're going to find out. I'm left-handed. You're left-handed? Yeah. 
Oh, I'm still eating the right. Right, we are now down to the last strength round. It is the arm wrestle. We're going to do one right-handed and one left-handed. Need a start. Because Max Bosch has to be left-handed, isn't he? God. Okay. Um, are we ready? Yeah. We ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh! Oh no! I know he's going to win. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Get fucked! Wow. Get fucked! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so fucking strong! <laughs> fucking massive! Okay, left hand, mate. Left oh, shit. Okay. Are we ready? Oh, yeah. he's, he's confident. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh, oh it's oh, a dead oh, 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 shit. How do we he decide the, the strength? Pool. So he <laughs> tripped to the spa. discovered absolutely nothing. So the strength has resulted in a null round because they're just so both so strong and fit. Just so Beach. fit, the both Over of them. There. It's going to go down to the race. The down to the wire. We now go to Rufus Rice for the post-strength pre-race interview. Obviously, the strength round evened out, so it will be decided by a sprint. Max for leg day. How are you feeling about this? I'm feeling a bit sick. My sugar levels are low. I've got an emergency styburs. How do you feel that's going to benefit you in the race? I feel like it could be, give me that little bit of a push that I need. Um, not going to lie, I was shaking a bit in that strength bit, and I've not run since PE. Um, <laughs> you do look like an emaciated child. I don't, I don't know what that means, <laughs> but um, I'm going to take your word on it. I'm going Good to luck with ready. the race. I'm going to get ready for the race. Thank you. Max for Hello, Claire Balding. A little bit of an underperformance. I thought you would absolutely destroy the leg day in most challenges. Yeah. But he looks a bit weak on the sit ups. Yeah, I'm a bit time. worried because we were pretty neck and neck on the arms, but he's been training a lot color. because he's obviously yeah. maxed. Oh, but yeah, leg day, so uh, I'm slightly uh, concerned <gasps> that the legs are going to kind of take him through to the win on this particular one. And it's not just a pretty face. Max Bosch there with a good pun to um, see us into the race. Yeah. Good luck. In the penultimate round, we are finding out who is the fastest Max. In an 100 meter sprint, who will win? It is time for the race that decides the most athletic max. 100 meters. I'm really scared. It's all about speed. This is very good. Are we ready, Maxes? Yeah. yeah. Really? Let's do it. Are we ready? No. Are you going to do on your marks, get set, go? Yeah. On your mark, get set. Go! And it's lights out, away we go! Oh, oh, Max Bosch! Oh, I'm going to lose! I'm losing! I'm losing really bad! Oh, I'm not having a good time! That's the power behind it! I'm having a horrible time! Fuck this! Fucking it, Prank Scott Bastards! Looking silly with the game, but I'm having a good time! This is so unfair! He has miles longer legs than me! Belegde straight to behind in second, Belegde straight to behind in second place! Fuck this shit! Sorry it lost, he's upset about it! Fuck this! Max Bosch, beaming, absolutely full of himself! Running! Fuck him! It's a masterclass! Wank! How are you feeling about that yeah, one? Yeah, that was a good race, thanks, uh, Claire. Um, it was a difficult start. I'm going to get out the blocks nicely, get into my stride, get into my rhythm. Do you know what? I felt good throughout that entire I race. I hit every single one down. Do you think we didn't practice? This is the worst rhythm, time. stride, rhythm, stride. Looks like my, my last one the competition. The sort of got your rest. socks on. Finish on the end. Your yeah. boot yeah. face, though. What a that. dickhead. You must be Never hated absolutely someone thrilled more in my with that, I believe. You are the winner of the strength and fitness round. Shut the fuck up, Rufus, you prick. A highlight of my entire Shut. career. Um, a literal I've, fuck yeah. up. Well, you heard it there. Max Bosch, the winner of the race. Max Belegde. Oh, he's devastated. Belegde couldn't have you there, big boy. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> couldn't. Honestly, it's just, it's one of those. Why don't you get on the track then, eh? Monumental tragedies. Yeah. I tore my meniscus. Yeah. Um, it's one of those monumental tragedies, you know, 9-11, Black Friday. Black Friday? <laughs> you know, when Robbie Williams left to take that for the second yeah, time. Fair enough, yeah. And this loss. I'm having a really shit day, to be honest. Um, started off well, I was in high hopes, but it just looks like this is stacked against me. He's got longer legs, that's all I've got to say. You've got a lower centre of gravity, though. Yeah, I'll pretend like I know what that means as well. Um, and I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> And I really thought, to be honest, that my low centre of gravity was going to help me pull through on this, but obviously it hasn't, and um, fuck everyone here, to be honest. Yeah. You look like yeah. prime Naruto out there, so congratulations. Prime Thank you. Um, I've never had that flavour of Doritos, but uh, I'm pretty sure that they sound good. They're delicious. Thank Back you. to you in the studio. Fuck this. We are now at the final challenge. What a day it's been. It's been a good day. Um, Max, of course, is ahead. You are kind of semi-officially the best Max. Yeah. But to make it exciting at the end, um, 
we've got the ultimate test of manliness, chopping your pint. And basically, guys, all you've got to do is when you chop your pint, the first one to grab the trophy is the best max. Okay. I've only fingered like one girl. I'm not going to be good at this. <laughs> as many as one. Yeah. Wow. Me too. Really? <laughs> guys, this has been a truly entertaining day. You've both done maxes across the globe proud, I would say. Yeah. To the max. Um, the karaoke performance will go down in history. Thank you. The longest joke in history will go down in history. That was great. But that's um, a joke. I don't know. I still don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gentlemen, hold your pints. My God. I, I, I feel I like get, I'm going to get some. Wow. I get so nervous before every single Actually, one of these. This is so exciting. Three, oh. two, one, chop. We well, like to drink with Max, because Max... Oh, oh my God. Go on, on. Yeah, go on. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god! Max Ferrati! With the upside everywhere! <laughs> it's simply glorious! This is the best day of my life! This is the best thing that's ever happened to me! Fuck you! <laughs> I literally hate you so much. Oh my god. And it's Max Beleg Day. Surprised himself, I think, yeah. with how quickly he chopped that pint. Hey, dude. That was one of the best moments of my life. I'd like to thank my mum for being such a ledge and pushing me right out. I'd like to thank my dad for putting it in my mum and then divorcing years later. Um, I'm pretty sure that made me gay and I'm pretty sure that's why I could swallow the amount that I could do just then. <laughs> I'm so thoroughly grateful and homosexual and this is for all the gay people out there. Yes. And um, yeah, there we wow. go. We go. Wow, a message of solidarity there for Max Belegge Day. And can I just say, there are tears in his eyes. There are. I'm, I'm very <laughs> His system has genuinely been quite shocked by yeah. the amount of pint he's just consumed. I just can't believe it. I mean, that is the first pint I've ever drank in my entire life. I'd like to thank that train that's going by. Um, and this trophy will literally be treasured by me forever. Fuck Max Fosh. <laughs> um, yeah. Max Fosh. Hi. You've got drips all down your drips, shirt. Drips and drops. Um, but you know what? 100% effort. Yeah. 0% results. Yeah, of course. I could hear just gulped to my left. Not uh, the first time. Not the first time. <laughs> Harry Bordy's school, am I right? Um, and uh, no, do you know what? I, 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 well done to him. Um, I think he's getting slightly overzealous with the fact that he's taking the trophy because it is 3 2. Um, but uh, do you know what? I'll give him this particular win. So yeah. we've decided that the last round was worth 10 points. And for that, yeah! that's, that's why Max Beleg Day is the winner, in case anyone was actually yeah. counting. Fuck off, rock and roll to all my northern non-boarding school warriors out there. You don't have to be upper class to drink that glass. When I was playing polo at school, I wanted to hear something <laughs> like that. So yeah, I guess. I have to say, can we can we have a give a uh, thank you to to Rufus Rice yeah, as well? It's been great to yeah. have you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, I'm looking to uh, extend my career. So if anyone wants me in any other videos, I'll, I'm at the point of my career where I'm just happy to say yes to anything. He's so. desperate. And on that bombshell, back I've to you in the studio. What a day! Um, I think both maxes are the winners. You know. No, but like David. I think you know. Thanks to everyone for watching. Thanks to the Maxes for coming down. I really appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Chuck. And we'll try and find some people with names. People have them. This was Name of Thrones, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Woo! Chuck, that was great. Go on, down it. Down. No. <laughs> He's got a career. Yeah. <laughs>